everyone, Moshe here with another episode of Moshe Means Business. You ever have one of those days where you just want to throw a computer at the floor or just take a bat to a TV? Well, guess what? We're at Wreck It, the first rage room in all of South Florida, where you can break a bunch of stuff free of judgment. Let's go inside and check it out. How's it going? Hey, Ricky, good to see you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Wreck It Fort Lauderdale opened in 2018. Its mission is to provide a safe space for you to let it all out and have some fun. They give you the tools, safety gear, and 30 minutes to unleash your pent-up angst. You get to wreck everything in sight, and the best part is, you don't even have to clean up. They do corporate events, birthday parties, divorce parties, and even gender reveals. We're sitting with Ricky Ballister, the owner and founder of Wreck It Fort Lauderdale. Ricky, thanks so much for having us. Absolutely, great to have you, my pleasure. Well, this is really a fun concept. When did you have the idea to open this facility? Yeah, so um, this is probably early 2018. Uh, my sister at the time, I was working at the Apple store and she said, you know, she had a, a customer that came in and just kind of gave her a little bit of a hard time. And she, in that moment, she was like, I just want to grab a, like a laptop and just smash it in half right now because of you know, this, this interaction. And one of her coworkers was like, you know, there's a place that exists where you, you can go and do that. So she looked it up and it turned out that there was none in South Florida. So she calls me up and she goes, hey, have you ever heard of this concept called a, a rage room? And at the time, I, I didn't know that they existed, but I had thought about something like this uh, back in 2012 when the Heat were about to lose in, 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 the, in the playoffs against the Spurs. Uh, I remember, I'm like, you know, we have this super team right now and we're about to lose two years in a row. And I was like, if, if we lose right now, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to grab whatever I can find and just smash it onto the floor. And it brought me back to that memory. And I'm like, you know, there's, they, they have to exist. And sure enough, there were none in South Florida. And so uh, myself, uh, my sister, and a good friend of mine, we decided let's open up the first one in South Florida. I'm sure people must experience a lot of emotions when they come out of these sessions. Yeah, there have been several times where people uh, just break down. You see them just sitting in the benches, on the benches, just crying or screaming, cussing, um, you know, saying everything you can possibly imagine about either maybe a coworker they worked with or maybe their, their spouse or ex-spouse. Um, a lot of emotions uh, that, that we, again, didn't really anticipate would be a thing when we first uh, opened up. Where do you source the items that get destroyed? Yeah, so uh, most of our inventory is household items and office supplies. So anything from uh, computers, TV monitors, uh, computer towers, uh, gaming consoles, uh, stereo systems, and then we have plates, cups, glasses, bottles, uh, instruments. I mean, pretty much anything that you can think of. If you can find it in a house or an office, you can find it here to break. What are the different tools that people can use to break things? Uh, yeah, so we have um, a lot of different tools that people can use to break things with. Besides their hands, uh, we provide them with baseball bats, crowbars, sledgehammers, uh, mini crowbars, mini sledgehammers. Uh, we have like wooden, wooden clubs uh, that we find from uh, coffee tables, uh, golf clubs. I mean, pretty much anything that you can think of except for things that you plug in or flamethrowers. We don't have any of that stuff. <laughs> What's your favorite tool to break things? Uh, I, I definitely have to go with the crowbar. The crowbar is, is one of the most satisfying things. So Ricky, you've definitely convinced me. I've had a rough day. I'm ready to break some stuff, if that's okay with you. Let's do it. Make it happen. Man, that was fun. If you need to let off some steam, come to Wreck It Fort Lauderdale and smash some stuff. This is Moshe, signing off. <laughs>